So check this out. We are about to do voice to app. I want these buttons to be a little bit darker gray. Actually, you know what? Really dark gray. Make the text white. Make the border on the home page thicker and center my creations and the month. All right, so we're gonna run this on the entire code base. So we can see that this is all of the files that it's looking at. Now it's changing app.tsx. Here we can just see all the work that the AI is doing. It's putting in the work. As soon as I pressed accept all, doink. When I hover over these, it just lights up, you know? It's not super dynamic. Okay, so whenever I hover over the buttons on the home page, I want it to, to have a really clean animation. And I just want it to be so damn cool. Put your designer hat on and just be a beast here with animation and design. Now it's working on the journey timeline.tsx, one of the code files here. And just like that, it is done. Before we press accept, let's see. Now after we press accept, all right, let's see. Clean, wow. Wait, what does the profile page look like? Boring. That would be way cooler. Let's just drag that image straight into here like so. Then we'll press this button. Okay, so now I want every single person who signs in to be able to edit their profile and when they press on the button, it'll open up and they can enter in those details. Now let's come down, let's just run this on the code base, huh? Yes. Now it's going at the profile.tsx file. It's adding a lot to profile here. All right, so it is done. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like, huh? Except, we have some errors, but no worries. What we can do with the errors is we can actually just come in here into this error log and hit Command A, copy everything, and just paste them into here. Then we can just explain. You should also have a default icon in there, just like that standard gray default icon for profile picture. There we can see the changes, right? Where it shows red, it means it's taking out some things. Where it's green, it's adding some things. It's just putting in work. Look at that, look at that. Damn, this profile page is long now. All right, so this is what it looks like. It's not looking so good, but let's see what it looks like. So let's accept this and we're gonna hit accept. Ooh, there we go. Let's close this out. Now we can press edit profile, nice. Let's edit this profile photo. Ooh, we can upload an image. Sam made an account. Make the add button a dark gray color and have that same hover effect as the home page. I really liked that one. So let's do that again on that add button. So let's make those changes. You feel? All right. Toink. Come on. Let's go, let's see. Except, oh, that's a lot cleaner, huh? Oh, okay. this is looking solid. Save changes. Now it's saved to the database and the storage. Like literally, if we go to the storage in Google Firebase, we can see all the user. Oh, there's the profile picture. Okay, now on the home page, I want my creations to be on the left side and I want to add an identical card here, but for a new type of entry that only admins can enter, right? I have admins and in the database, it's is admin equals true. And those people can add prototypes and then all users can vote on them. So on the right side here, on these buttons, it should have upvotes and users should be able to come in and upvote on these buttons. And so this section could be, should be called prototypes and I should be able to, as an admin, press new prototype and let's create a prototype editor dot and a prototype viewer uh, dot TSX file here. It should say 
my prototypes. And it should have a date as well. All right, let's see what happens. So I gave it a lot of instructions here and it said to make this functional, I'll actually need to do more. Continue and fully implement these changes, please. Enter. Let's go ahead and accept. There we go. Now I'm signed into the admin account. So what happens if I press this? All right, now we can add a prototype. So when we typed, we got this error, but remember, copy and paste the error. When I uh, was typing into a new prototype that I created as an admin, I got this error and paste it in. That's not looking like how we want it. And we can just upvote it as many times as we want. Look at that. And every user should only get one upvote per prototype. Okay, let's go ahead and let's take a look. Update the Firebase rules. Copy, paste, publish, fingers crossed, accept. Oof. Why does this look so strange? Screenshot, paste. All right, let's use code base and run this bad boy. All right, it's done. Let's see, and we're going to accept. Wow, look at that. Oh yeah, I can upvote. That's exactly what we want. Now we can only upvote one. So let's actually sign out. Let's sign back in with a different email. So I'll sign in here with this non-admin account. And now we can upvote it. Upvote it. Ah, we're getting an error. It won't let me add an upvote uh, as a non-admin user. Please fix this. And I want some way to distinguish whether I've already voted or not. Right now, once it goes up one, you can't really tell if you've upvoted. So can you have it uh, light up as that like orangish red color when I've upvoted so I know and then if I press it again and it goes away Then it should go back to that like gray color. So it starts gray and then when you vote it goes to that red color Doink. Gotta update those rules again Doink. Publish the good old moment of truth accept all all right, so we are still signed in to the non-admin account because I don't have the option to do a prototype. Let's test this. Ooh, that's what it actually looks like. Uh, I have to turn my brightness down. Okay, so for the upvotes, I don't wanna just see how many upvotes there are. I want this to be a database and I want this to be a count of how many users has have upvoted. So I wanna see which users have upvoted for which prototype and keep track of which users have upvoted each one. Additionally, when you click on the prototype, I want it to go to the actual prototype page. If you haven't created the necessary docs to do that, please do it. This is where I will actually put information about the prototype. Let's see what it looks like. Doink. Ooh, there it is. The page opens. Okay, so this is what it'll look like on phone view. So I don't want prototypes under all of the creations. So when it gets narrow for like a phone view, I don't want to have to scroll all the way to the bottom to get to the prototypes through all of the creations. So what I want you to do is when it gets narrow enough for one column. I want it to only show the, the most recent five creations, and then I want it to show the most recent five prototypes. All right, let's do it. Doink. And so in theory, when we press accept, nothing should happen. Nice. Doesn't look like anything happened. Now we can narrow it down to one. There we go. Now it shows only the most recent five creations. And since we only have two prototypes, this is what it will look like on the phone.